Welcome to the Daily Devotional with Derek Nider. Thanks for joining us as he walks us through the pages of Scripture with a daily word of insight and encouragement. Blessed to be with you today. We are in Malachi chapter 3, and we're going to start in verse 6. If you have your Bibles, turn to Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. And um, I'm going to go ahead and read verse 6 and 7 to us. The Bible says, For I, the Lord, do not change. Therefore, you, O children of Jacob, are not consumed. From the days of your fathers, you have turned aside from from my statutes and have not kept them. Check this out. Return to me and I will return to you, says the Lord of hosts. I mean, this is such a, it had to have been, right? I mean, if, if you're living in Israel at the time and the prophet is speaking, he's sharing this word, um, there's obviously a, a, tug and a, a, a tug of war happening as we look at these various disputes and they're arguing against God. Inevitably, there were some of them that were just starting to get, to get the message. Some of them, the light was going on and they're thinking, maybe even in the midst of their dispute, hey, you know, there's a problem here, and the problem is not God. The problem's us. And the very fact that God is speaking to us is not God closing the door, condemning us. It's God giving us an opportunity. And so here in this third chapter, some halfway through his message, man, that's the exact word that, that God places right in the middle of these lovingly challenging exhortations. And he begins it by saying, the truth is, I don't change, right? I don't change. And that's the reason why you've not been consumed. Uh, I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. My qualities, my characteristics, my attributes are unchanging. I am the merciful God. I, I take pleasure in showing grace and kindness. This was the mantra at the inception of the forming of this nation. And you read it in the words of Moses in the Torah, and you see it again um, reiterated by David in the Psalms and just who God is. And and absolutely, he is righteous and he is just, um, but he's also kind. There's a kindness to God and a steadfast love. And, And I think God is, you know, he's hearkening back to that. And he's, you know, helping them to understand, like make no mistake about it, the fact that you've not been consumed because at the very first infraction, right? At the very first infraction, you could have been totally wiped out and decimated. And I could have started all over with another people, but it's my, it's my character that's kept you from that type of calamity. And then he cries out to the people. It's so powerful, right? Return to me and I will return to you. You know, you're, you're wondering why your sacrifices have not been accepted. You're wondering why there's, there's turmoil and why your barns aren't filled and flourishing. You're wondering why you're walking through this wilderness period as it were. And you're questioning me and you're throwing uh, it in my face. And the reality is, I'm not the one that's wayward. You're the one that's wayward. And so what you need to do, right? I've been steadfast. I've not changed. My disposition and attitude hasn't changed. It would be impossible for it to change because I'm the eternal God. I'm the same yesterday, today, and forever. I'm not fickle like like a human being. So it's impossible for me to be the one that's wayward. You are the one that's wayward. And if you would just come to your senses, if you would hear the message that, that's, that I am pleading with you through the prophet, if you would humble your heart and stop resisting in pride, if you would open your eyes and your ears and you would allow this word to penetrate your heart, if you would turn back to me, right? And that's what the word repent means. It means to turn back to God. Um, repentance is a gift. Because God does not, God, it, God does not owe us repentance. You know, sometimes when I use the word repent, people are, you know, people don't like the word. They're offended by the word and, and like the, the framework of offense, 
towards the word repentance is so messed up because repentance is a gift, an undeserved gift and opportunity that God gives to us. And so God says, return, repent. You've been heading in the wrong direction. And if you will turn back to me, God says, I will turn back to you. Man, that sentiment is iterated and reiterated so many times in the Bible, right? Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God and he, in response, will lift you up. God resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. Draw near to God and God will draw near to you. Now make no mistake about it, I'm not saying that we are the initiators and God is the responders because when we repent, we are already responding to God's initiation. God in love has reached out to us. God has spoken his word like he did through the prophet Malachi. And the promise is this, he is waiting to return. He is waiting to cause the barns to flourish again and be full. He is waiting for that sacrifice that's made to be acceptable. He is waiting to turn the desert wilderness place into uh, a garden that's filled with life and joy once again, if we would just return to him. It's just a beautiful picture of the true heart of God for you and for me. Maybe there's a thing today. Maybe there's a thing in your life. I don't know what the thing is. That's, you know, you've allowed it, you've accommodated it, and you're off track because of it. And God today is lovingly saying to you with hands and arms wide open, ready to embrace you, right? Return to me and I will return to you. And Father, with our whole hearts, we long for that today and just place your finger on that thing that we need to lay down once and for all, to turn our hearts wholly back to you so that we can have times of refreshing that come from your spirit in Jesus' name, amen. Have a blessed day. We hope this podcast has ministered to you. If it has, we welcome you to rate it or leave a review. If you would like to stay connected with Pastor Derek Nider or find many more teachings, please visit awakenlv.org. Click visit and then choose Pastor Derek Nider. These links are also in this episode's description. Until next time, God bless you.